so I am headed to work. It is raining really hard. Um, it's uh, about 34 degrees, predicted to drop and transition to snow. But here's my prediction. Uh, based on the way the property is laid out and all of the surrounding runoff, uh, we've got a spot down in the lower lot that will um, probably be a foot, foot and a half of standing water. And I'll have to get the snowblower out and snow blow some, uh, well I guess the sluice ways would be about what it is at this time of year. Uh, I'll have to cut some channels in for water to run when it does this in the spring. Uh, it can get pretty miserable down there. The snow prevents it from running down to the creek. Um, and just the the natural lay of the land, any low spot just turns into a pond. So we'll see what happens uh, when the sun comes up in a few hours. Uh, and I get back from work. We'll see, we'll see how big a mess it is. Got about one shot at eating with this. In a few hours, it's all going to freeze. It's supposed to drop down into the teens. And this wet mess with snow on top will turn into a block of ice. So I guess that'll be priority one of the day is getting this cleaned up. Hope everybody's faring better where you're at. So here was my prediction. This will be what's under the snow. Uh, all this wet water. has for this before it gets really bad. You can see where I've walked, how wet it is under this snow. If this freezes, it'll be a disaster. Um, this is typically uh, the beginning of spring thaw and what a mess it is. This is what I was kind of worried about. This is a couple inches deep already. Probably three, four inches deep here along this rock wall. And as the weather warms up and the snow melts, this area over here, I'll have a foot and a half of water if I don't make some spots for this to get out. So this is less than ideal too. Coming in under the doors and freezing. Let's come back in quite a ways. Uh, I come back eight, nine feet in a few spots here. This is just how it goes. Nowhere for the water to go. It gets up against the garage doors, comes right in.
sure uh, pushing watery slush was not what the fine folks who manufactured this plow had in mind when they uh, designed it. But that's what we're going to use her for today. chicken coop here. It's going to be an interesting day. Nobody, nobody wants pets today. <laughs> okay. So, Somebody from town called and said that their uh, husband was stuck. It's just an icy mess. Uh, so we got a log chain on his Jeep and got him pulled out of the ditch. You ready? Yeah, I can get out. All right, well, I'll just make sure you can get turned around. Uh, but this is small town living. Uh, pick up the phone and hope somebody can go. The wind is terrible. The, you, you'd have frostbite out here for sure uh, if you were left without help. Why do you what do you say if you fall I can't I can't put it in yeah. 
What are you? <laughs> what are you afraid of, Em? Should I give it to them? What have you got for them? Pancakes. Are they gonna jump and get it? Yeah. They like it? See who jumps first. You go ladies, who wants it? Oh. Do you see that? Yes. How you get a Here, I'll move it up. Oh, she took off half of it. <laughs> you know, she's gonna run away with it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you break it up for him and let's collect eggs and get in? It's cold out. They like their pancakes. Oh no, there's a broken one in here. Okay. Let me see. I'm not sure it's everywhere. Oh, all right. Is it froze? Okay, let's get them out of the nesting boxes. This looks like Bobo's egg. All right, let's take it in. It is cold. When it's this cold, if an egg breaks, an egg breaks. <laughs> That's what she's like lately. She's telling you that's her egg, huh? Yeah. Let's make sure she has food for the Okay. Okay, let's go. That's it. Did you let him out? What's he doing trying to get in with bug fishing? Did you let him out? No, your mom probably did. I, I thought I heard something running around the chicken coop, but I wasn't sure. All right, one, up. Come on, Reggie. 